All right, what's up, guys? So right here we got Terrence Crawford versus uh, Kell Brook next week. Uh, it's it's going to be a good fight. Terrence Crawford is, is nobody to be played with. He has wins over Ricky. No, wait, let me start off from the beginning. Uh, I remember when he fought Breedis Prescott. That was a good win. Uh, he has a win over Ricky Burns, Gamboa, even though Gamboa was smaller. Gamboa was still a gold medalist six years ago. That was a Gamboa in his prime. And if anyone remembers Gamboa, Gamboa could fight his butt off. Had a tremendous speed, tremendous power. He was that was a good win for for uh, for Bud. Even though he's a little bit smaller, that's still a good win. Uh, he has a win over Beltron, who's a beast as well. That's a good win for for uh, Crawford. He has a win over Delorme. Delorme is a beast, very fast, just like Gamboa. Good win for. For uh, Crawford, and then he has a win over Lundy. Lundy's a beast too. So a, a win over Pistol, Molina, Felix Diaz, a gold medalist. All those three wins are great wins. A win over Jeff Horn, a uh, good win. Benavides is a is a good fighter as well. Great fighter, even though his leg was little beat up, that's still a, a tremendous win. The Amir Khan win, the Igis win, those are good wins. So you gotta give the edge to to Bud. There's no, there's there's no question about it. But Kelbrook is a solid opponent. He's only his only two losses have been by way of knockout. And when you look at those two losses, it's only against monsters. One of them, the first loss, his first loss was against a middleweight, a bigger guy, Golovkin, and he was giving Golovkin problems. Uh, he beat Sean Porter. He was the first to beat Sean Porter. He beat Carson Jones, which is, a good, which is a good win for him. And then he also beat, I believe, uh, Love, Love More Indu, who's, a, who's pretty good. And then he, he lost to Spence, who's a big a big welterweight. He came back and beat uh, Mark DeLuca, who's a good fighter. That's a good win. He knocked out Mark DeLuca. Uh, now he's fighting Bud. So... It's another good fight for Bud. I'm going with what? Obviously, I'm favoring uh, Bud. Bud should be the favorite to win this fight. Uh, and we'll see how he looks. Uh, how he does How he does against uh, Kell Brook. It's a tough fight, though. It's not an easy fight. Kell Brook brings it. Uh, I know Kell Brook, he had beef with uh, Amir Khan. They sparred before. I, I'm not too sure if they fought in the amateurs. If anyone can confirm that. I don't think they did though. Uh, but uh, I know Amir Khan is rooting for, for Brooke. And Amir Khan fought, uh, fought Bud. So so that's cool. I mean, but Crawford has all the experience. He's part of everybody. Like, and, and all the fighters have nothing good. They only have good things to say about Crawford. Shakur Stevenson said that... Uh, Bud put it on him when when he was younger. Uh, Keyshawn Davis, like he said, that's the be- one of the best. Like these guys have said that this guy Crawford is one of the best. He has sparred. Period. Uh, who else said that? Like I only hear. Oh, actually, I I, I knew a, a friend of mine, Gaku. He was pro Gaku from Japan. He said the same thing. He said Terence Crawford was the best guy he ever sparred. And I was like, damn, is he that good? He's like, yeah. Uh, he said he doesn't look that good from the outside. But when when you get in in there with him, it's different. And I'm like, damn, for real. So it's just like, Bud is no one to to be played with. He he fought everybody in the amateurs too. Like, I know he fought Ray Robinson, Danny Garcia, Diego Magdaleno. He fought Ugas. Yeah. He even, fought, he even fought, he beat Mason Menard. He fought Sad- Saddam Ali too. So Crawford has like, his experience is, is his experience level in this boxing game is second to none. Uh, and when you have that type of experience, you, it, it's hard to beat you. Uh, it's hard to beat him. And I remember even Bradley said that uh, Crawford's the truth. And he could deal with every style. Like when he fought Mo, uh, John Molina, who's a, I know he's a power puncher, like a massive power puncher. He's dropped everybody. Uh, 
Ter- Terrence Crawford like disarmed disarmed the Molina disarmed his his power punches with with technique and stuff so it's hard to beat a guy like Crawford um this Kell Brook win if he gets like wins over Danny Garcia and Spence you got you got to compare him to Floyd he he's going to he's going to get up there get give him like this win right here two more two more solid wins you got to compare him to Floyd this dude is stacked with amazing wins over amazing fighters yeah but make sure you guys comment down below who do you think who do you think wins and uh yeah make sure you like and subscribe guys and uh let's get it stay safe out there guys with the elections and all that let's get it guys marco flores signing out